This is the painting we're talking about. You might have seen me work on it live a little bit. I was painting the eyes. But this painting went through a few different stages and in the middle of it I was sure I was just going to trash it. It started off going really smooth and I was just really into like the fresh brush strokes and I just thought it was working out really great and then I kept adding more to it and it just it got in a spot that I didn't like and I got so frustrated with it that I scraped like half of it with a big one of my big scraper tools and just I thought it was done and I set it aside. So now I'll show you some of the painting process and uh, talk about like where I was at, what the parts that I really liked, the parts I didn't like, and sort of the steps I took to turn it into something that I'm now really proud of and I think is probably a better painting than it could have been if I hadn't uh, did a little destruction to it. <laughs> As strange as it sounds, I think when you go through hard parts of a painting, it actually makes the painting better. And sometimes you need to destroy certain areas, scrape things out, and working through these difficult challenges somehow shows through in the painting and it really has always made my paintings better. And some of my favorite paintings I thought were ruined right in the middle of the painting process. At this stage in the painting, I'm just having a great time. I'm applying the paint and discovering the form and just really having a blast uh, in the sort of like beginning stage of the painting. Really um, liking sort of the fresh feel and the way it mixes in with the background. So I'm really happy with the progress at this point. Where I think I got a little stuck later on is that I was trying to like retain this fresh feel and it made me make some decisions I wasn't super happy with. For example, sometimes I'll add a lot of thick paint or interesting like textures thinking it needs something more and it doesn't quite work out or I'll be hesitant to like make something like to paint over a certain area because I like the way the strokes look. And all of those types of things are normally bad decisions. It's almost like you need to cancel out in your head like what you want out of it and just try to focus on painting. It's hard to describe, but if you like have too many ideas in your head about what you want it to be, it's normally gonna get in the way. So you can see I'm getting a little frustrated at this point in the painting. I have a splatter of paint above her eye and I'm just a little lost. I went from being super excited about how the painting was going to I let it get out of control a little bit. And that became increasingly frustrating to the point where I scraped out half of her face, which I don't have a video of. This actually worked out to my advantage because it gave me sort of a reset point. And on top of that, I set it aside for a few days, I think about a week, and worked on something else. And that actually also really helps because it makes you completely detached from the painting. If you paint a, a piece for like four days straight, you're gonna feel like really connected to all of the work you put into it and you're not going to want to cover it up but when you set something aside for a week an interesting thing happens where you don't have any attachment to it it's just almost like you're painting on top of somebody else's piece so this allows you to do things um, and take different steps cover things up um, change things that you wouldn't have done if you had just painted straight through 
So I think it's really important to remember this, that not only should you not give up, but it's okay to like scrape things out if it's not working. It doesn't mean, it's almost better to just scrape it out and rework it than like noodle and fidget with things and try to just make all these tiny small adjustments, in my opinion. Scrape it out, repaint a certain area, get that feeling you want, and maybe set it aside for a week. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. If you can like and subscribe, that would be awesome. It helps out the channel a lot. And I look forward to making some more painting videos for you guys very soon. See you on the next one. Bye.